Marine Forecast Coastal Waters Forecast Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef out to 60 nautical miles. Gale warning in effect through Wednesday morning. Small craft advisory in effect from Wednesday morning. I've been keeping an eye on Lester and Dave's 34-foot yellowfin for over a month. I was just waiting for a break in the weather so I could deliver the boat to Chubb Key in the Bahamas. Finally, on a Friday morning, the weather report looked promising and I called up Cam to see if he could make the last minute trip with me. I wanted him to help out with the boat and maybe we could get some spearfishing in. He made it down by Friday night and we left the dock at 5 a.m., hoping for the best but expecting the worst. What we got surpassed any Bahamas trip we had done before and we got it all on film. traveling around and doing all these spearfishing trips we're going after big pelagic fish big tunas and big wahoo and traveling around with 20 pound guns and float lines and floats and all this other crap that we take with us it's nice to get in the water and just have you know a stick in your hand and you know chase after these fish because you really learn how the fish behave and you learn how you need to behave in order to not spook the fish
Chubkey definitely has a special place in my heart. You know, over the past four or five years, I was fortunate enough to, to work in Chubb for probably the total of like six months. And I got to do a lot of diving there. And most of that diving was from shore or on my paddleboard, but I still managed to get some really good fish. You know, there'd be weeks where, you know, I'd get 40 pound groupers, you know, on back to back days. And since I'd never shot a 40 pound grouper before I went to Chubb, you know, I knew there, there was something to that place. I'd really wanted to dive this buoy off Andros for a long time and I'd been in the water out there and done drifts on it probably three or four different times. Um, you know, and I'd, I'd shot one, one nice dolphin there and some rainbow runners and stuff, but every time I'd been in the water, I'd seen schools of Wahoo every single time and just couldn't get close enough to hit uh, with my normal pole spear. We brought a 15 foot blue water pole spear with us and it really really made a huge difference you know these fish all of a sudden that seemed out of range were now in range and after about 15 20 minutes of of chumming and kind of figuring out the pattern that these fish were swimming around in you know we made made a nice drop of uh, of, of chum got a couple flashers in the water the fish started swimming in made a dive kind of Paralleled, paralleled this one little school and one broke off and came a little too close and whack got him with the pole spear and he tore off he tore off that float line I thought for sure I was gonna lose him because I mean it's a tiny tiny little breakaway tip I thought for sure it was gonna rip out of this fish and I'm pushing the, the poly ball I was using as a float I was pushing this float through the water so it wouldn't be in too much pressure on the wahoo and finally when the fish start, stopped swimming I'm pulling them up I'm pulling them up Cam dove down to see how the shot was and he just looked back at me and gave me a big thumbs up and I just started pulling the fish up and grabbed them and it was my first wahoo with a pole spear and I was I was pretty ecstatic. That was an exciting fish for me. You know, and it was only 18 pounds, but uh, you know, it's 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 a beginning and I have a feeling once we start dialing our gear in a little more that you know we're gonna start getting some big wahoo with these pole spears.